Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Faith J. Marks. I'm Rachel Hickling. And we are here from Inspire Worship Co. from Inspire Creative Company. And we are here today to play some original music for you uh, that we've written as independent artists or together as Inspire or both. So we're going to start with this first song. It's an Advent song called Come Lord Jesus Quickly Come. And it was written by Kathy Eby, myself, Faith J. Marks, John Rhodes, Gene Vance, and Michael Zioli in uh, 2020. Jesus quickly come, Lord Jesus quickly come, 
so that song is an Advent song. Advent is the season of waiting. It's um, when we're preparing our hearts and waiting for um, Jesus's birth as we prepare now. We remember when he was born, but also it's us. It's us preparing our hearts for his second coming, reminding ourselves that Jesus is coming again. And so this song was written specifically as an Advent song. I was I'm in another songwriting group in addition to Inspire, and they had given us a challenge to write an Advent song. So I came in with a start of a song, and we brought it into the group, and um, the song gave the song some different life. It changed direction, and Michael, I know, wrote rewrote some of the um, chord progression behind it and just gave it a totally different feel, which we were all like, ooh, that's nice. That was really cool. Mm-hmm. And so we played this song um, at the mall not long ago. Mm-hmm. And Rachel posted a little clip of it on Instagram. And I'm not even on Instagram, confession. <laughs> and she was like texting me, look at all these fall, like views it's gotten. And I was like, what is happening? So it was kind of cool. We posted a little reel and it, we, our Instagram, you know, we're still small, but um, we got like 3,000, over 3,000 views. And I was like, heck yeah. But it's a great little song. So, it was so if awesome. you're on, on Instagram, <laughs> I'm not. But if you are. Go look at it. Go look at it. <laughs> we are what? Inspire Creative Company yep. on Instagram, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. I, I feel old when I'm like, I'm not on Instagram because I'm old and not cool. We'll Inspire. just have to tell Faith she's old and tease her about that from now on. It's cool. <laughs> it's all right. So this next song, you know what's funny is we wrote the song, what was it? It was like three years ago. Was it longer than that? It was a which, long time ago. Which one are we doing next? Oh, wait. Sorry. Behold the Lamb of God. We can do Behold. It's cool. We were supposed to do that after that. I'm, I always forget what order things are in. Um, Let's do it. But we wrote this song, like, what was it? Three years ago now. 2018. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yes. It, I, I forgot that we even wrote it until Faith texted me this week. She's like, hey, let's do the song. And I was like, oh, sweet. Yeah, I remember that. So I've never <laughs> actually played this song anywhere. Have you played it anywhere? No. no. So this is our debut Woo! of this song. It's called Behold the Lamb of God. And do you remember what we were writing about when we wrote this song? We didn't talk about this ahead of time. Yeah, it was like, I do actually. I It sticks out in my mind because it was, we were trying to write something different. We were trying to write something new and different. And we were talking about how Jesus was the Lamb of God and was then going to be the Shepherd King from Revelation. And then we become the sheep. I remember we talked about this for like, how long was it? It was forever. Yeah, and <laughs> so I... I remember I had been listening to this podcast by um, Christy Knuckles, The Glorious and the Mundane, and she I had listened to it through the summer because we wrote this in like a September or something. Yeah. We were really trying to write a shepherd song. <laughs> yeah. And um, I had been listening to these Christmas podcasts about all these different, I don't know why I was listening to it in the summer, but um, <laughs> it talked about how um, the shepherds would have had a different meaning from when the angels said that you find the king lying in a manger because um, the when you have a sacrifice that you present at the temple for your sins, because before Jesus, they had to present sacrifices um, for atonement for their sins. Um, you would get a, the, a perfect unblemished lamb, and you would wrap it in a swaddling type clothes, and you would and you would lay it in a manger to protect it from stuff. Mm, mm-hmm. And so when the angel said, you'll find the, the king lying in a manger wrapped in swaddling clothes, like how that had such different and meaning to them, mm-hmm. Because they were, sh- they knew as a shepherd who cares for sheep, like what happens to those sheep, and so how that. Like, oh wow! It was that second. Me- I remember, like we were talking about that, mm-hmm. and so we wrote this song called "Behold the Lamb of God," and then there was the whole tie-in with John the Baptist saying, "Behold the Lamb of God." Like, yeah, and how the shepherds might recognize that. Yeah, so and how we recognize that today, and how shepherds too were like lowly people in society. So it was kind of like. We were talking about, too, how it was a normal night, you know, they were probably just doing their thing yeah. out, forgotten somewhere in a field. And then it was like, oh, my gosh, like heaven is encountering earth right now yeah. in the middle of this normal, normal night for us. Yeah. So. All right. So behold the Lamb of God. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it because we've never uh, played for anyone before. <laughs> you should feel very special. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Another ordinary night Staring at the sky Waiting on the dawn to bring new life 
There's a longing in my soul, a story to unfold for a shepherd with his flock and fields nearby. The glory of the Lord shines brightly. Be not afraid. Behold. fun i'm so glad we got to play that i know me too that's awesome 
It's great when you find a song that you forgot about and you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's rare because a lot of times the stuff you forget about, you want to forget about. But the <laughs> stuff you've written, you're like, oh, I'm glad I didn't remember that until I now. Know. <laughs> I know. I know. So, yeah, so we've got another original. And this one was mm-hmm. one of Rachel's songs. This was just you, right? Yes. Yes. And I keep calling it the wrong thing. So, <laughs> Faith was like, do you want to do that song, One Little Child? Or no. one, <laughs> one Small Child? It's not what it's called. <laughs> yeah. But it's similar. So, this song I actually wrote when I was at school at Liberty. Um, and I was in songwriting school. And I was taking a theology class. And we were studying kenosis which is like a big fancy word for what happened at christmas where jesus emptied himself from his deity and became human you know became god and man basically and so kenosis kenosis i can't speak kenosis is basically god emptying himself um for us and so that um, concept was just, I was, this, these things were rolling around in my mind, like all these questions about like, you know, I was thinking about world religions and how um, most other world religions, the gods are either like really man, like so much like humankind that it's like, how are they really worthy to be worshiped? And then there's other religions where, um, you know, God is so unapproachable and hard to, to grasp. And I was just thinking about how Jesus is, is a little different than that because he is both relatable and still holy and, and someone that we can worship. And I was just thinking so much about, um, how that is. It's, it's kind of like a mind blowing thing. So this song is like kind of a bunch of questions and then it's like, oh yeah, like this is the main point of why, Jesus came as a baby. So you'll hear that in this song. And the song is called One So Small. That's the right name. (laughs) Yeah. Jesus came to us that night 
After every Christmas song. That is fantastic. And he sends with jingle bells. <laughs> yeah. I love it. My fingers <laughs> betray me. This happens all the time to me. It's okay. <laughs> I know. It's always at the worst times, too. And you're like, what are you doing? So I don't know what you guys have been up to getting ready for Christmas. But somebody, one of my friends uh, who's a, a worship pastor and I think he's in California now. Anyway, he posted recently on Facebook asking, he's like, I need for an illustration, what do you guys, something about like, what is it about Christmas that, are, that stresses you out? <laughs> and I and I put saying yes to too many things. So I've been oh trying, yeah. I've been trying to not do that this year. I've been trying to say no sometimes to things, which is really hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that we all get really like, at least me, like, I don't want to miss out. It's FOMO, but it's also, like, <laughs> yeah. it's, oh, uh, one, absolutely. it's FOMO. Two, it's, it's, like, all these exciting things we love, but it's, like, one of the things I had to say no to, it was, like, if I say yes to this, that means I'm saying no to all these things with my kids, and I'm, like, yeah. I can't do that this year. Like, I just, I don't want to be, like, stressed out person. Not mm. that I have it all together, because I have my stressed out moments. <laughs> don't get me wrong. So, but anyway, I hope that this little stream for you guys has brought a little bit of calm and peace to your Mm -hmm. advent christmas season as you're preparing for christmas that you take a minute to just kind of relax and rest and hear about what christmas is really about there's your charlie brown moment what christmas is really about (laughs) about one so small and what i want to know is why didn't you use the word kenosis in your song i mean try to rhyme with that am i right like (laughs) <laughs> i will next time i i Excuse feel like i said snark. that word like 10 times and then like i said it wrong i was like kenosis and i couldn't even say it so i was like it sounds like a scientific term it does it sounds like osmosis or like yes. some sort of like chemical reaction that i don't want to know what it is that's, that's kind of what it sounds like that's funny we talked about <laughs> as the great in my high school religion class remember we were talking about the great role reversal there you go. That's what they talked That's about. That's a better as. way to put instead of like a big, like weird word. That God, big, <laughs> like, this, you know, large, mighty, eternal, powerful God would take the small of a tiny baby and then choose to die. Yes. Like they called it the great role reversal. That's I like that. But that was probably their way of making it understandable for my high school. Well, yeah. Because when so. you say the words that sound like science, you're yeah. thinking what? Yeah. But, um. It was funny you said that. I was talking with uh, Kayla, who's another Inspire member, and she was just saying how she didn't want to miss out on Christmas because she had so much, like, stuff to do, mm-hmm. slash, like, expectations, slash, gifts. Like, and I was like, heck yeah, like, me too. Uh, especially because I'm a worship minister, so this time of year is, like, crazy. 
but um it's like the little moments where you get to remember what jesus means to you and the fact that the sovereign god of the universe literally came down to us and became one of us so that so he, so he could say he loved us and to save us so you're right it's a it's cool to reflect and just have a moment where we can remember that in the hustle and bustle of everything going on it makes me think of like what was that movie is it inner space when like interstellar was no it when the guy oh, gets like dang it. injected into a person it's like a sci-fi movie you matrix? know what? sam's looking at me Sam, like what he knows is it? what is it this the matrix? is you know, it's like inner ah. space or something where they he gets injected into a person and he like gets to like he's like driving a little ship, but he's inside a person. But it makes me think of like so if Jesus, God, God is comes down into this little baby. If he was like that, like he's like, oh, oh man, because he's still God, but he's still a yeah. human. Like, could he still think of like, man, all these things that I know and want to do, but yet I can't say words because I'm also human. <laughs> it's a silly, <laughs> weird thing I think about sometimes like. Anyway, and answer little questions that sometime when I get to heaven, I'll be like, so Jesus, tell me what that was like. Was it like that weird movie? Anyway, so on that note, we're going to play <laughs> one more song, which we did not write. No, we didn't. <laughs> we want to play it for you that if you're at home and you want to sing along, feel free. It's one you'll know. It's one that is very um, cherished and loved by people all over the place. Uh, it's called Silent Night. And um, so we want to help bring a little bit of inner peace and calm to your, to your life, to your heart right now. And I know that, and to ourselves, because mm -hmm. it's one that uh, I know is very meaningful to a lot of people. So we're going to play Silent Night. Feel free to sing along. Or not, if you feel ridiculous doing that. I don't, I won't be offended. <laughs> I can't see you, so I don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> Oh, 
Christmas from Inspire. We hope that uh, you have a wonderful Christmas this year. And um, we forgot to tell you about upcoming events. So <laughs> the only upcoming event we've got on our calendar right now is um, we have a painting class in January called Anyone Can Paint. It's virtual. And you can get tickets through Christmas Eve, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, you can either do it virtually and we can ship supplies to you. Or you can do it virtually and you can get your own supplies. Or we have somebody here in Kernersville, I believe at the crossing, mm -hmm. is going to be hosting a watch party for our virtual class. That's going to be taught by Casey Lee, who is my sister. And she's fantastic. She's awesome. I'm a little biased. <laughs> and we're doing a beginner starry night, which is so yeah. fun. Such an like, iconic piece in the art world. But uh, Casey's done a really good job of making it approachable for all ages, five plus. So even if you're a little afraid to paint, come on out and uh, join us virtually. And we'd love for you to, to come and try out some painting with us. Yeah, and we'll be back um, for another mini live stream in January. We don't have the date yet, but it will be featuring John Rhodes and Kayla Harrell. They're awesome. They're so fantastic. excited. Fantastic. So um, we hope you'll tune in for that. So Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.